Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Modern Fossil. It's a final showdown! First of all, I want to stress that this might be nothing. I'm not too sure of myself. Young boy slumped over the table as soon as he took one sip of his javachino. Well, the clumsy idiot upset the vase! He knocked it right over! He broke, and then the stripper cloth covering the table got completely soaked! Well, how about that? Turn things upside down, huh? Um... Is that all? Yes, that's all. I remember it perfectly. Ah! You're doubting me again! You're doubting a poor, defenseless old man! And now, we are not doubting you, Mr... You know. Don't you get the feeling there's a question hanging on everyone's lips, Nick? Yeah. So what, probably. That's all I can think of, and I have to cross-examine this guy? You're a bird brain. That's why, you, that's why that's all you can think of! Very well, Mr. Wright. Your final cross-examination, please. First of all, I want to stress that this might not be... This might be nothing. I'm not, I'm not too sure of myself. Uh, I don't want it. This is his voice from now on. Okay. <laughs> no, sorry. Um, the court generally prefers if witnesses are sure of themselves, Mr. Kudo, so that fake voice yeah. you might not want to do. Uh, yeah. Noisy brat! No, no, yeah, noisy brat! I'm warning you, I'm more savage than a macho man right now! You won't beat me with this testimony! This is a final battle! Ow, ow! He's chucking those seeds harder than ever. I better be careful. C come on, Nick! Nail him. The young boy slumped over the table as soon as he took one sip of his javachino. The court has already heard that testimony, Mr. Kudo. I know that! I was just set in the mood! How am I supposed to build up the suspense, huh? The suspense? Yes. And what do you think? Should I work the audience a bit more? No, no. Please continue, Mr. Kudo, as quickly as possible. All right. Now, where was I? Ah, yes! The young boy struck in the table, and... Well, the clumsy idiot upset the vase. He knocked it right over. A, a vase, you say? <laughs> a vase. Yes, there are vases. <laughs> on all the tables in that place! There are accidents waiting to happen. They're practically begging to be knocked over! Well, he's right about there being... vases. I do remember seeing them, too. The vase vase there. There was a vase on the table when I ate lunch there. And you saw the moment when the victim actually knocked over the vase. <laughs> well, it's hard to say. It's a bit unclear. Uh, how do you really define that? Uh... Okay, I get it. I had a break, and the sight of it is burning to my memory as clear as day. A book and the strip of cloth covering the table got completely soaked. Soaked in water, you mean? Yes. Splashed on me on the knee as well. You said you were sitting at a table across the room from the victim, correct? And yet, the water still managed to splash onto you? Then it was cold! I clearly remember it splashing me! Could the water really make it all the way across to the other side of the room? Oh, I could have pissed myself. Shit. Well, how about that? Turn things upside down, hmm? You mean, the vase on the victim's table falling upside down and breaking? The vase. Turn upside down! And my testimony is clear turning this case upside down! <laughs> it's a joke! I just wanted people to hear it! What do you think, Captain? I'm impressed by your ability to waste time. Goto hasn't raised any objections for a while now. Tell you young show off with that scrap of information. I'm throwing down the gut, but if I lose this one, I'll take, lead, take it like a man and admit defeat. He's really giving you the evil eye, Maya. It's, it's you! He's looking at Nick, not me! It's like he's saying, how triple dog dare you to find a contradiction, young man? I guess I'll just have to rise to the challenge then. Okay, what am I doing? Okay, let's go through it. 
Okay, uh, first of all, I want to stress that this might be nothing. I'm not too oh, sure yeah, myself. Okay. Uh, the young boy slumped over the table as soon as he took one sip of his java chili. Okay. okay, well, the clumsy idiot uh, upset the vase. He knocked it right over. Mm. It broke and the uh, strip of cloth covering the table got completely soaked. Well, how about that? Turn things upside down, hmm? Alright, let's look at that picture. Uh, which picture? This I've picture? You, this picture? Well, you fucking moron, the vase is clearly up. Oh, good, good job! Jesus Christ. Oh my god, you fucking got it! Mr. Kudo. Look at this photograph of the crime scene. <laughs> so what? Look carefully at the table, you dumbass. The vase is there. Intact. Huh? Lost your tongue, Granddad? I know Granddad of yours, hot scotch! Ow, ow! Enough! If you throw any more seeds in this courtroom. Ah! You... What the fuck is it now? I just remembered something. Yes, go on. The screams that my wife made when I killed her. Oh, that broken bars. <laughs> it was on my table. What? Uh, well, you see, it startled me when the young, young lad collapsed. So I stood up. I must have been when it fell over. The bars. On my table, I mean. The vase on your table. <laughs> yes, it, it, it was on my table. And that's how my coin came to be completely soaked. Uh, because I pissed myself. I, I did not piss myself. Unless. I, I think I did. But I can't testify that. I still haven't cleaned it up. I smell like piss. Oh, God. Is that why they've been treating me like shit? <laughs> or rather, like that's piss. Why birds have been flying away. <laughs> Uh, mm, mm, mm. Thank you, Mr. Kudo. You've certainly earned your kudos for today. <laughs> I'd like to ask a question now. Have I, uh, have I been uh, any use at all? Completely useless, but perhaps that's something you should reflect on yourself, Mr. Kudo. Uh, wait! Wait a minute! Here, that's the case. Uh, I've got more to say! Uh, yeah! I remember something else! Elith, escort the witness out of the courtroom. Wait, listen to me! Bitch. I've disintegrated! Well, we seem to have been considerably sidetracked. And I'm still not in a position to deliver a verdict. That defendant has not been positively identified as a waitress in question. Additionally, there are two disparities in the testimony we have heard thus far. The mark on the coffee cup that the victim supposedly drank from with his left hand. And the earpiece, which was inserted into his left ear, out of which he couldn't hear. Wow, Nick, you did it. I therefore require both the defense and the prosecution to further investigate the facts. Yes, your honor. <clears throat> there is one more thing before I call today's session to an end. One more thing, your honor? The witness we just heard from. He is most insistent that his testimony should be of use. So he summarized it accordingly into the statement. Um, okay. You may each have a copy of it if you wish. Whatever. The prosecution doesn't need props like that. That doesn't really matter. They may not need props, but they could certainly have some kudos. I'm leaving. Yeah, I would be too. <laughs> Very well. Here you are then, Mr. Wright. There are three copies, my own, yours, and Mr. Kudos. Yes, Your Honor. Victor's testimony. testimony. When the, the incident, incident occurred, occurred, I, I broke, broke the bars on my seat. My seat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> <laughs> my God. I'm sorry. 
This isn't a piece of testimony. More like a five-year-old's apology. What the heck are we supposed to do with three copies? That is all. This court is adjourned. Jesus. Hold it! That's it. Oh, That's I, it. I did. 11 minute episode. No, it's not an 11 minute episode. That's it. I can go take a nap in my car now. No! Nap time. No, 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 no. Nap time. We're going to solve this murder, Mac. People's lives are at stake here. We're not going to solve it in the next 13 minutes. That's what you think. So what do you think of the trailer this morning? Oh, let's check the fucking plant. How do you think it went? We don't have new dialogue for the plant. I got a bit crazy in there. I just wonder if that killed you know that chance. times we have checked that plant with the same fucking dialogue? What do you mean there's no new dialogue for, for the like plant? Four. What the fuck are you talking about? Right. I've heard every variation of what we say to that plant seven times. Yes, variation. The different. And we need to know about the plant. The plant has a good arc. It has, it's the most important character arc in the series. It hasn't even grown. It's a plant and it, uh, it's not supposed to grow that much in... Three years? Okay. Good. Got a bit crazy in there. I just wonder if that killed our chances. Yeah. I guess it did, and it did get out of hand. Mr. Kudo's testimony did nothing to help us. Plus, now we don't even know uh, the identity of the waitress who laced the coffee. we know is that what the old Mr. Kudo saw, the apron shops and the ribbon. And that the victim was wearing an earpiece when his eardrum was ruptured. <sighs> Talk about a terrifying case of contra contradictionitis. Time to play doctor and find ourselves a cure then, huh? Yeah. We've got to find one for Maggie. She's going to have a terminal case of guilty. This is important. That badge is totally useless, Nick. Huh? I mean, no one suspected that Zinni Up wasn't a real lawyer. I bet he didn't even have an attorney's badge. I guess you're right. Or maybe he did have one. And maybe he switched your real one for the Fugazi. My badge? A fake? Fugazi, you crazy. <laughs> ha ha ha. That's a good one, Maya. Why the nervous laughter? Aha. I knew it. Your badge really is fake, isn't it, Nick? Your tits are fake. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Uh... Yes. Looks like Gumshoe's not here. Never mind that. What's going on? Feels different in here somehow. You think? Yeah, I mean, sure. Is the exact same layout? As it was, like, literally two games ago, the same? Is that guy literally still writing his memoir in the exact same jacket? And is that chief back there doing the exact same shit? Yes. Yeah. Something. Something's different and everyone seems to be on edge. What are you doing? Calling the officers for the briefing. Quick. Can't you shut down the station server? Chief, quit playing on the internet. My email pen pal, lead to Anne's princess. What? What? Yeah. You said what? I said leads. Oh, it's eight lead Asian princesses. Oh. That's what it is. I thought you said Lisa Anne's princess. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, that's what it said. Yeah. Save it for later. I'm turning it off now. <laughs> oh, I need Asian princesses. The one's keeping busy in here, huh? Keeping busy? More like panicking if you ask me. Something's going on. Something big. This must be the chief of the detectives here. This all seems familiar. He looks lost. Now that the power to his computer has been cut. Oh well. I guess I have to, be, uh, have to write a real letter instead of an email. Alternately, you can write up, <clears throat> up some reports. Just a suggestion. Dear elite Asian princesses, how are you? Wait, hold on. Let me see this. So, elite Asian 
fences. What am I missing there? What's leet? One, three, three, seven. Are you not familiar with internet lingo in 2004? No, but what does leet mean? It's leet. Like elite? No, uh, sort of, yeah. Something is leet. It's cool. People would say leet? Yes. Really? Are you... You're older than me! And you don't know this? Leet? When would people say leet? In like early 2000s. Like... This was internet lingo. They'd be like, that's totally leet. Yes! Never heard that in my fucking life. Oh my fucking god, you're such a child, dude. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. How was the show last night? Oh, awesome job. Maybe I should send in my resume and become chief. That must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. Even pickpockets can have their pockets picked. That's a keeper. Better to go with something that doesn't sound too much like a slogan. He must be coming up with slogans for a crime prevention campaign. But I'm not sure even he knows what kind of crime he's trying to prevent. Where are you going? Shut that door. Wipe your feet. Stop. Oh, fucking god damn it, dude. I'm lost. I guess Maggie's still in question. But, uh, but we've got questions to ask her, too. Maggie! Maggie! Keep it down, Maya. This isn't a playground, you know. There we go. Empty as usual. Yeah, and it's lunchtime, too. Who the hell is this? You. <clears throat> Fuck. It's that one character, isn't it? No, because he would be screaming in your face if it was that character. Oh. That's it. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, that sounds like... Now just call me eight. What? Now. <laughs> what? Now just call it. <laughs> it's my new. My new I'm, name. I'm Agent Eight. <laughs> yeah. Agent Dick eight. Gumshoe. Now just call an eight, pal. Come on, I know you can. You're getting really worked up about something. No, that's the wrong number. Ah, it looks like an eight would have only netted me five bucks anyway. What a ripoff. Uh, what's the problem, Det Detective Gumshoe? What is it the problem? Oh, it's you. I, uh, I, I was, uh, <laughs> I was just, <laughs> <clears throat> I was just listening to the, to the, oh, oh. Oh, God, oh, God. I was just listening to, to that alarm, and I was like, okay. I was just listening to the radio, pal. To the radio? Hey, Detective Gumshoe's having lunch here. He is, and he's having the twin tea set. Ha <laughs> uh, what can I say? No, uh, you know, nothing goes, pairs well with a Chardonnay like a murder the other day. Hey! Is that thing real, pal? Why does everyone keep asking me that? I wonder what this phony of yours is like. He had Maggie found guilty of murder, doesn't that tell you? Tells me the guy is cruising for right cruising. You're really caring, aren't you, Detective Gumshoe? But oh, Maggie, I mean. You know, my pops always said the line between caring and caring very thin. Watch yourself. This is quite ironic. This is a nightmare. How, how am I supposed to look, Maggie? In, 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 in the eye. I've never looked at it in the eye, but how do I look uh, going forward? How do I, like, metaphorically, how, how do I look Maggie in the eye now, pal? I don't even know where her eye is. I have no idea. I don't know about the human anatomy. She could be eyeless. My God, she might be. And honestly, not a deal breaker. I just put some nickels in there, <laughs> and that's all right. Yeah, do like what the, what people did in the medieval times. Just put like some coins and and their eyes when they when they're, when they're dead, but instead Maggie's alive and and, and alive. honestly, it's like safekeeping, like make rent out the space. Yeah, exactly. Future investment, it's more scratch tickets to get that big money. The big money's big money. How am I supposed to look, Maggie? 
in the eye now, pal. I, I mean, really driven into a corner, you know. You always blow apart my testimony. Why? Uh, of all days, D didn't you do it today? Sorry, there just weren't any holes in it for once. Yeah, what happened? Usually your testimonies are like Swiss cheese. Uh, Swiss cheese. What do you prefer, crumbly like aged Parmesan? Anyway, this case has already been ruled on. There shouldn't be any holes left to find. So, did Maggie say anything to you? About, about me, I mean. Well, um, I wish you put it again. I can't believe Detective Gumbage you. I hate him, sir. I mean it. I don't even want to see him again. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> but, but please, Detective Gumbage, I didn't mean. Uh, why? Why is this happening? He's aiming his head against the wall, Nick. Oh, man. Poor Gumshoe. How's it going? Hey, Gumshoe. So, did you like the twin tea set? I never paid that much money for lunch before. I was so nervous, my, ha my hands were shaking. Oh. My arms were sweating, knees weak, arms are heavy, there's vomit on my yeah. trench coat already. I wish it was mom's spaghetti in front of me, yeah. but no, it's a twin tea set that's shitty. Yeah. But how did it taste? Well, for 20 bucks, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. it, it really, it, it was delicate. Delicate? You mean you liked it? It didn't taste bad to you? What's the matter with him? Looks like he's thinking. That's it. I've been trying to think of the right word to describe the taste. And I just realized it's bad. That's it. It tasted bad. It tasted like horse shit. Yeah. <sighs> it's kind of hard to admit it to yourself when you, you pay 20 bucks for it, you know? I mean, I had to make that bet with the chief to get that 20 bucks and... Now he's in the yeah. slammer and... It was 50 bucks. 50 but, bucks, actually. And yeah, and only wasted 20 yeah. of them. Maybe you should have found out about the about the price after he had finished eating. Hey, Nick. Maybe that's why Glenn L came here. Maybe he heard about the super fierce twin tea set. If by fierce you mean fearsome, speaking of Glenn L, that reminds me. We still hardly know anything about the guy. Why don't we ask Detective Gumshoe what he knows? He knows he's here. So what you were all excited about earlier? Huh? That's right, you said you were listening to the radio or something. Oh, that? Uh, that was nothing. I, I, I wasn't excited. Uh, you know, uh... oh, come on, Detective Gumshoe. You can tell little old me. What were you listening to? Uh, I, uh, not nothing, really. It was just the, uh... Uh, daily daily exercise show. Are you fucking with me right now? It wasn't the daily exercise show. What the? A psych lock? <laughs> mm, uh, this lunch special's lobster sure is great. Why are your tears in your eyes? Fuck! <laughs> Got it. Alright, Detective Gumshoe, tell me the truth. What were you listening to? No way, pal. Now that you made a big, you know, a big thing out of it, I I'm not gonna tell you. We'll see about that, pal. Considering all the noise you were making while you were listening, it's pretty clear what kind of radio program it was. I'd say it was related to... A radio program. Sports. What was he listening to? Baseball game. Oh, give me an eight. Oh, he was listening to MC Bomber. No. He was listening to Gordon Ramsay cooking. Oh, man, I would have gotten five bucks if I won. Oh, the lotto number. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I'm right, aren't I? 
You were listening to the lottery results, results weren't you? You thought you tried to win big, just like Glen Elk did. It, it's... It's like you can see right through me. Fuck. Huh? I cracked him already? See, pal? That's why he said it was nothing. Good job, Mac. The hottest one. Yeah, that was tough. Mm -hmm. I mean, I did give you a lot of hints for that one. I'm usually pretty lucky, so I, uh, I figured I'd give it a try. What's with everyone in the lottery? So, I need to go. I won 50 cents. I better win nothing at all. I'd rather, I, it'd be better win nothing at all than half a lousy buck. I was so mad. Yeah, I know the feeling. I bought the same kind of ticket as Mr. Elk, see? And I got this special radio show where they announce the, uh, the winning numbers. They even do the drawings live on the air. I mean, it's, it's, it's honestly, it's really intense, pal. Well, that's what Mr. Elk was listening to on the day he was killed. Yeah, what time is it now? Uh, it's, uh, just after, uh, 1.30. And are the lottery results always broadcast at the same time? Yeah, look, I, I got this flyer when I bought the ticket. Millionaire Radio, Radio Flyer, flyer. experience the most, the most thrilling 10 minutes of your life every Monday at 1.30 p.m. Millionaire Radio? Oh, that sounds cool. I want to try it, Nick. Then buy a ticket, Maya, with your own money. Huh? Mr. Humstrom's talking to someone. Oof. I'll be back next month. We accept the natural lit. Natural little bit. I will be waiting for you. If you haven't got it by then, I'm afraid it might get a lot. little hot around here. No! I will have everything ready, I promise. I love fire. No. <laughs> no, no, no! Stop it! I beg you! you don't let me down. I will be watching you. Yeah, no. This is not necessary. You can trust me, Madame Soul. Talk to anyone. I'll try to live right through your heart. Oh, no. You do not have to worry. You don't be, you worry far too much. Maybe this will help you relax. Just like oil and sandalwood. I do love raw meat from time to time. <laughs> ah! I'll be taking my leave. Goodbye for now. Uh, I have a little shivers. I must flip some of my oil over my body before I become the nervous snake. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Oh, that feels good. Uh, oh, la la. Excuse me, monsieur. My eyes, my... Oh, my eyes. Your eyes. If you have trouble with your eyes, you need this. Little oil inside the room. Isn't that just leftovers of what you were just using? All right, I'm going to talk to John Armstrong. On the next episode. On the next episode. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and hit that bell so you can be notified every time that we upload, which is every single fucking day. Yes. All right, period. Do it. Hit it. Hit it, bye. Goodbye. Love you. Love you.